Ladies and gentlemen, good day. This is Jeans from Agamalayan. Today we're going to talk about Bernoulli's theorem. Bernoulli's theorem is a fundamental theory of hydrodynamics that describes a fluid in motion. It is really the application of the law of conservation of energy to fluid flow. It says here in this equation that the sum of the pressure, the potential energy uh, per unit volume, and the kinetic energy per unit volume at any one location of the fluid is equal to the sum of the pressure, the potential energy per unit volume, and the kinetic energy per unit volume at any other location in the fluid for a non-viscous, incompressible fluid in streamlined flow. Since this sum is the same at any arbitrary point in the fluid, the sum itself must therefore be a constant. Thus, we sometimes write Bernoulli's equation in this form. So, it is time to apply the Bernoulli's, Bernoulli's theorem with our uh, example here. So, let's read. In the figure below, the pressure P1, which is this one, equals 2.94 times 10 raised to 3 newtons per meter squared. Whereas, the velocity of the water is V1 equals 0 0.322 meters per second. The diameter of the pipe at location 1 is 10.0 centimeters and it is 5 meters above the ground. If the diameter of the pipe at location 2 is 4 centimeters and the pipe is 2 meters above the ground, find the velocity of the water V2 at position 2 and the pressure P2 of the water at position 2. So, what we should do here is to find first the value of area 1. So, I'm just going to activate the pen code, pen mode, pen code. Okay. So, here's the solution to that problem. So, the area for A1, the value for A1 is equal to pi times d sub 1 squared all over 4. This is now equal to pi and we're going to com uh, convert the centimeters into meters and uh, our diameter 1 is 10 centimeters. If we convert it into meters, that will be 0 0.1 meters. So 0 0.1 meters squared all over 4. Our final answer for area 1 should be 7.85 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared. <coughs> Whereas the area 2 will be equal to the uh, same formula that we used earlier. However, this will be the computation for diameter 2 pi times 0 0.5 zero four meters square squared this is it that's the measurement that we used and we converted it into meters by using dimensional analysis and then we're going to divide it to four our answer should be 1.26 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared square meters now the velocity at location 2 is found from the equation of continuity. So, uh, we're going to recall our equation for uh, uh, continuity. And by manipulating the formula, we will have V2 equals A1 over a2 
times V1. So we already have the values for A1 and A2. So we're just going to substitute those values into our variable. So 7.85 times 10 raised to negative 3 all over the value for A2 which is this one and then V1 will be what is given in the problem which is this one 0 0.322 meters per second and our final answer for V2 should be 2.01 meters per second. Now the pressure at location 2 is found from rearranging Bernoulli's equation as the following. So what is our Bernoulli's equation again? So we are going to write uh, rearrange the equation and solve for P2 so our answer for that or the final form of our equation rather should be P2 equals P1 plus rho G H sub 1 plus 1 half times rho v sub 1 squared minus rho g h sub 2 minus uh, 1 half times rho v sub 2 squared and then this will be when you're going to uh, substitute all of the values into that equation we should arrive at <coughs> sorry 2.94 times 10 raised to 3 plus which because P1 is already given in problem plus 1 times 10 raised to 3 that will be the density of our water times the gravity which is 9.81 and then h1 will be 5 meters uh, let's give it also in the problem plus 1 half uh, times 1 times 10 raised to 3 uh, times uh, 0 0.8 Three two two squared it is given the problem as well plus oops it should be minus uh, I'm just going to change first the uh, sign there so minus uh, 1 times 10 raised to 3 times 9.81 times 2 minus 1 half 1 times 10 raised to 3 and then 2.01 meters per second squared quantity squared so that v2 was found in what we have solved uh, a while ago so simplifying the, those values we will have the 2.94 times 10 raised to 3 plus 4.9 times 10 raised to 4 plus 5.18 okay, times 10 raised to 1 minus 1.96 
times 10 raised to 4 minus 2.02 .02 times 10 raised to 3 and our final answer should be 3.04 times 10 raised to 4 Newton per meters squared. So here's our final answer. And of course, it already found the velocity of water, V2. And I'm just going to indicate it here. V sub 2 is equal to 2.01 meters per second. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.